Hello, everyone. Hello, entire world. Wherever you are at, you are welcome tonight from Apostle David E. Taylor for another night of miracles, another night of the kingdom of God, the love of God, the power of God coming right into your home tonight. Tonight will be another incredible night as this is a miracle for the maimed. And uh, a miracle for you, whatever sickness you have. There is a miracle for me. Anybody that is listening tonight, there is something supernatural, something special that is going to occur simply because you tuned in. And thank God that you did any time that we get to be with Apostle Taylor. It is no telling what is going to happen. The only thing we're sure of is that the supernatural will be on display. Exactly what it is, we don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, by the end of the night, uh, we will be filled. We will be blessed. We will be incredibly uh, just saturated with that love of God. But if you're listening from Australia, from uh, the other parts of the world, Asia, uh, the southeastern corner of Asia, Europe, North America, Central America, South America, whatever continent you are on, from the far reaches up north to the frozen countries, to the very hot countries uh, in, uh, in, around the equator, wherever you are from, the power of God is going to reach you. And we do hear every evening the, of miracles and testimonies of people that have been tuning in and watching. And we hear these testimonies from all over. So it's going to come to you tonight. But we honor Apostle David E. Taylor tonight. Even as we welcome the nations, Apostle welcomes you. And uh, thank God that we get another Thursday night but we honor Apostle for being obedient uh, each and every time that we are with him so much that we could, we could literally spend all night long just honoring Apostle for what he has been able to accomplish in the spirit of the Lord, in the relationship that he has, what he's been able to do face to face is circling the entire globe, all of those countries and continents that I mentioned just a few moments ago and more. And on any given night, there are over 180 nations uh, that are tuning in, watching. And there's only 194 nations. And so almost the entire world is being blessed tonight. And uh, for this, you know, the the face-to-face -face that is circling the globe uh, so much, uh, that, that the healing ministry that is on display, so much we have. Uh, honor apostle for for helping preserve this nation this nation is under a judgment right now but apostle uh, and the people that he has praying with him are holding back these evil forces that want to destroy this nation and so uh, we honor apostle for this tonight preserving this nation through prayer through that relationship giving this nation the nation of the united states time to repent time to get our hearts right with God. Time to turn back to God. An apostle is always looking for people to help pray with him. And if you would like to be one of those prayer warriors, you just have to call 877-THE-GLORY and uh, you will get registered to help pray with the apostle. But we see this uh, behind me, this Miracles for the Maimed, and we honor Apostle for putting that faith out there. Many of us were here live with him when it dropped on him, what he has been praying for, what God has been showing him for years. And Apostle has been praying for, in a shutaway, three and a half years. That's right, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not misspeaking. You that are new to these broadcasts. I am not misspeaking. He has been shut away with the Lord for three, over three and a half years now, really, and just seeking God out of that beautiful relationship that he has uh, for this nation, for you that are watching. And part of uh, what he has been paying a price for, God dropped on him during these live broadcasts when he said that it was given to him, the maimed. And so uh, from that time forward, he has been praying every night. And in fact, the emphasis, 
even though there's sicknesses represented all over the world, and God is going to touch everyone. But the maimed, there's an emphasis on that. God is restoring body parts. Thank God, Apostle, has paid this heavy price for body parts to be dropped out of heaven. Arms, legs, feet, hands, fingers, ears, uh, internal organs, any missing body part at all. This is the most incredible thing. You will not hear anything like this in the earth today where a man, out of, that, uh, out of that word from the Lord is putting his faith out there. And we are just joining with him and know that it is happening, that it is sent down and just waiting for the, that full manifestation of the wholeness of people that are maimed. But if you uh, are the maimed, uh, if you are part of that, tune in every night so that your testimony can be heard. Now, any sickness that you have need of, anybody that is around you uh, that has sickness, there is a very important instruction tonight. And I think, yes, it is on that screen behind me. And this is a very important thing for you uh, to be uh, to know about tonight. That whatever your sickness is, whatever your need is, whatever need you have in your finance, in your ministry, in your marriage, in your children, in your husband, in your wife, uh, whatever it might be, it does not matter. If you will obey this very simple instruction that I am getting ready to tell you that the Lord gave to Apostle Taylor and those that have been obedient have seen the power of God released upon their life. And so here is that instruction, and you see it behind me. And that is, if you will email a picture of yourself or a loved one, a situation, if you will email it to pictures at org, if you want to email it that way, uh, get your picture in, and I will tell you why that's important. But let me give you this phone number as well. If you want to text a picture in, 720-202-9147. Take a moment to write that down, 720-202-9147. Now here's why this is important. Everyone that obeys this very simple instruction that the Lord gave, Apostle, that picture will go into a collage of wall uh, on a wall, and let's see that uh, collage of pictures now, so that everybody knows uh, what we are talking about tonight. And there is some of them. This is just a few, and there will be they will be sliding by, uh, showing you some more. But this, there are untold thousands of pictures, and these stay in the presence of God in that very special sanctuary place in that very uh, sacred holy of holy place that apostle is in communing with God the father with Jesus Christ his best friend they are communing daily and this these pictures stay in that presence of God apostle is praying over them consistently constantly waiting uh, for you to hear an answer from God. And we have seen countless testimonies now. But that is what will happen when you send your picture in. Uh, that, that is going to happen tonight. So we'll do this probably a time or two more uh, to make sure that you're getting your pictures in. But they will stay in that presence. And I, I don't know, even as we march up to the crusade against cancer, uh, could be that these pictures stay in that a very special place. And so they are being prayed over. And wherever Apostle is praying, there is an open heaven. I want you to know that tonight, that these pictures are under an open heaven. So that is a glorious thing, uh, that this is also what is happening. Not only the live services uh, that you are in now, but your loved ones, even though they may have no idea. I'm sure there are pictures up here that loved ones have no idea that their pictures are up here. But concerned people have sent them in knowing that God is going to move. Uh, but this is a, just a beautiful part of the heart of God. An apostle has been obedient in that, showing the beauty of his heart as well. Well, we want to move on and uh, show you this news. And for some, this will be the first time. But this is still the greatest news on the earth. There is nothing more ground-shaking, earth-shaking, heaven-shaking. There is nothing more shaking than this campus of the harvest that we are getting ready to show pictures of right now. 
And this is a beautiful facility that was a hotel in Houston, in the Houston area. And there you see the footage now. And that is what it looks like. Well, that is uh, kind of what it looks like. Oh, yeah, it is. That is an updated picture. I see the flags now, the, the sign. And that was bought as a hotel. It's only just a few years old, uh, but it didn't make it. But a, it was given by God to Apostle Taylor and all of his supporters and partners that have been working with him and donating and giving and working and praying for years now. And this is the latest campus. Uh, perhaps you have seen the a tour of all the campuses, and who knows, we may do that again tonight. Uh, but there is many campuses. There are many campuses. And each one is just so beautiful. This is a campus of the harvest. This 30,000 square foot building that I am in right now that houses the studio, a call center, products, a beautiful sanctuary. There, uh, this is one of them. But here is the latest. And I love those nighttime pictures. That is just a thing of beauty right there. And uh, what Apostle has done. And I'll continue to say that if Apostle was in charge of the beautification of this property, it would still be a hotel because this is a head turner. It's an eye popper, a jaw, a jaw dropper, all of these things. But isn't this beautiful? The lighting effects, uh, the foliage that was put in, the trees, the flags of all the nations represented. And just as surely as uh, almost every nation of the planet is represented here tonight by your uh, coming on into view. Uh, that uh, the flags of the nation are representative there. And so many students are from various parts of uh, the nations, various parts of the world. Many different cultures and languages are represented there. And uh, th this is just a thing that you want to see. An apostle has invited your, uh, those that are prayer partners and uh, givers, partners uh, in the ministry to be able to come there, to be able to come to the Tampa facility and enjoy that to be able to come here. Apostle has said he is coming to this pulpit right here. When he comes out of Shutaway, he is coming here first. And what a joy. Just whatever, I don't know, if. make sure you're saving some vacation time. Make sure you're sa putting some money in savings to be able to come when Apostle comes out of that Shutaway and comes here and releases what he has gained in three and a half years of Shutaway. There is so much uh, that he has accomplished and broken through and received in the power of God in that relationship, in that place, and that is going to be imparted to everyone uh, that is here. So you want to be able to be sure to do that. But isn't that beautiful? And this is what you have helped. You that have been supporting for years and have been with Apostle Taylor through uh, ups and downs, through being faithful in the ministry, through so much persecution. Uh, you have been faithful in this, and you have been uh, so significant to help uh, break, break this through and help to see this happen. And so this is what you're doing. And those that are new and you are giving now, you are giving to a future campus and future campuses. And we want to see that as soon as that is available. The next step in the revolution of the Campus of the Harvest, and that is a discipleship program. There it is right now. Uh, this Houston project was incredible and is incredible. And uh, this is just, uh, it just makes your head spin uh, what God is accomplishing through Apostle, even in that shutaway. What is God going to do when Apostle comes out? Uh, but it, there is that mentorship program uh, that is being trained and taught in uh, the classrooms right now. And we want to see that. Uh, we want everybody to know exactly what is being shared, what is being trained, the type of impartation that is happening right now. Let's go ahead and watch this mentorship video. God is not limited to anything. You gave your life to Jesus. He gave you power. These are the basics you do is healing the sick and raising the dead. You can do that once that faith is unlocked in you. Training for God's miracles and marvels. Be trained to walk in the same power of the kingdom that Jesus and his apostles walked in. To heal the sick, cast out devils, and raise the dead. I am training you how to walk in miracles. The Lord is about to heal you. 
Now I'm going to walk through the aisle and I'm going to pick people to come up here from the audience to pray for the sick. Be personally trained by David E. Taylor in service. You come here. Yes, you. God is going to use you, precious lady. You're one of the ones that's going to be trained for the arena. The first thing you got to have is boldness. Demons do not listen to passive words. When they came to Jesus, how did Jesus deal with them? He would just say, go. That's a command. You got to speak like a king. So as you pray for her, you be bold. Do it now. Give me that king. You're not going to need this king. Name. You're releasing power now. Thank you, Lord. There it goes. Oh. Receive it. There it goes. Come on, give God a shout. Walk. Walk now. People, give Jesus the biggest shout of praise you can. She's running. There it is. There it is. Right there. There it is. That's the miracle. Stand on your feet and give the Lord the biggest shout of praise you can. Oh, glory be to God. Oh. Look at how she's walking without a cane. Look at that. I take 60 nanograms of oxy. I have none of the pain that was here on the side. Nothing. Nothing. Give the Lord a shout of praise, people. Fight. Come here. Who has a crutch or a cane? Give me another person up here who want to be healed. I want you to go up to him and pray for her. Fire in the name of Jesus, you will be healed. The woman's there perfect. Get out of her in Jesus' name. Get out. Get out. What do you feel, mother? No more pain. Move her cane out of the way. Look at that. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. And two weeks ago, I couldn't walk. Look at that. Lord, use her in miracles more. Fire. Every last one of you can do what was just done. Now this miracle right here, I can tell you exactly how God wants it done. She needs to be spoken to, arise and heal. Come here, sir, you. In Jesus' name, rise and be healed. Pull out. Walk. There it is. can't walk in that thing you are not taught because that's what you're here for you're here to be trained and me to show you what you can do by the holy ghost and by this i am training you how to walk in miracles how to heal the sick when we go into the arena the basketball arena with 20,000 people in there there's going to be thousands and you're going to do this if you want to be used by god in miracles through david e taylor personally training you call now 1-877-843- Four, five, six, seven. Give God a shout of praise because he's about to use you in a way like you have never seen. A glory power is about to fall on that faith that is in your spirit, in your heart, that's going to cause you to transform nations and shake continents. Praying with boldness, praying with authority. God has already planned to heal people. He just need you to show up. This is the kind of training that you are going to receive at the Miracles and Marvels Train. Bring the sick, those in wheelchairs and on crutches and canes, or who have any manner of disease. Join David E. Taylor for the next training for God's Miracles and Marvels. Call now, 1-877-THE-GLORY. That's 877-843-4567. Astounding, amazing. I, I, I mean, I've seen this several times, many times. You never get tired of this. And I say this every time after this video. Let your faith arise. That same power that you just saw and experienced is coming into your home tonight. When Apostle Taylor comes out, he is going to bring that full force of the power, the love, the kingdom of God. It's coming to you right into your living room, right where you are at. 
And it is no telling what God is going to do. But, you know, these videos, it's not a time to go get a sandwich. It's not a time uh, to, take a, uh, to take a break. No, uh, you need to really pay attention to these because your faith is enlarged. Uh, your mind is expanded. There's so much that happens in every one of these videos. These are not just time fillers. Your faith has been enlarged and increased right now just by watching this and it is beginning to prepare your heart for what God is going to do when apostle comes out which isn't too long uh, but he uh, he looks forward to these Thursday nights as well as much as you do to experience the power of God and uh, so we uh, we want to move on uh, right oh no I'm sorry I, I meant to do this Call 877-THE-GLORY. I got sidetracked there for a second. Call 877-THE-GLORY if you want to be mentored. Whether you come to be a full-time student uh, in the discipleship program in the campus of the Harvest, any one of the campuses of the Harvest, or if you are mentored right there in your home. There is a whole kingdom series of books, of DVDs, of CDs. Uh, Apostle will send representatives uh, to help you, uh, to mentor you. He will do this himself. He will mentor you himself. He will send messages. Uh, he, he will uh, get, uh, however he wants to do it, uh, whatever way God moves upon him, he will do that. You will be mentored. You will be increased that way. You will be fathered. You will be covered. You will be blessed. You will be in covenant relationship. Uh, but there is so much that is ready to come to you. And if you know that you are not walking in what God has called you to do, this is the place for you to be. You must call that number 877-THE-GLORY. And uh, they, they will help you, that prayer partner will help you get started in being mentored as you as a king. You know, uh, for years, people taught on the uh, leper's anointing, the priestly anointing, the kingly anointing. But it was Apostle Taylor that brought out another whole stratosphere of anointing, the imperial anointing. And that takes on a whole different meaning. But you will be taught that, where the things that you say, not just pray, but the things you say, that they will happen in that imperial anointing. And that's just another whole level and, uh, but there is the Kingdom of God series, the em Empire of God, the Sonship book, uh, the Mysteries of God, Protons, the God Realm. So much that is waiting to happen. There are box sets, and here is one of them here. This is the God Realm in the Kingdom of God. Yes, and there is uh, some of them up there right now. And then we have the Kingdom of God, which is the first in the series. And this is a five disc CD and DVD uh, set that really goes into great detail. You see the thickness here. This is hours of teachings. The face to face, the school of the face to face. You get done with this school of the face to face, you will be able to teach about the face-to-face. -face. You will be able uh, to uh, evangelize and be an ambassador of the face-to-face -face when you get a hold of these teachings. Uh, there is so much. Now, this is not in the kingdom series, but nonetheless important, uh, the prophecy to America. And I'm not sure if we have that video ready or not. We have not played that in a few weeks, but that might would be a good one uh, to show right now since I've just highlighted it. Uh, the prophecy to America. Apostle has many prayer warriors praying constantly, consistently uh, for this country. And there is a job for you to do, to do. You are called to be with Apostle to preserve this nation. Breaking news. Spy balloons sent from China caught over American airspace. Why is America letting this happen? They are spying from the air. That's how they're going to attack. They're giving themselves away. So, so far, we know the balloon has been floating in the area above Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana, higher than commercial air traffic. And it's the size of three buses and includes a technology bay. If our enemies can get a very slow moving balloon with a lot of other stuff attached to it over U.S. airspace, then can't they get a really fast nuke? over U.S. airspace. To me, that's the main issue. China's balloon takes a direct hit in the skies of South Carolina. It's hit. 
And now China threatens repercussions because of the United States shooting down its spy balloon in U.S. airspace. David E. Taylor prophesied it would happen, that Russia would invade the U.S. If America did not turn their hearts back to God, many have heard in the past services, David E. Taylor prophesying the countries that would work with Russia against America including China and Iran, North Korea, Nicaragua, Venezuela, and more. Russia want to take over the world and start World War III. And there are other enemies that are in the bed with Russia, governmentally. China is in the bed with them. That's right, I said it. Nicaragua is in the bed with them. Venezuela, Iran, these are the countries. You can't hide from God. You've already been identified. They will join with Russia. We've had dreams of China joining Russia to invade America and China dropped troops from the air. You don't see China drills on the sea. That's Russia. Russia give themselves away how they're going to try to attack. But China is coming from the air. That's why they got the spy balloon up. They're trying to find a place where the troops can land. We already know where they're going to hit nuclear missiles. New York, Florida, Las Vegas. California, all of the sin cities mostly are going to get hit. So they are finding a way of navigation away from the nuclear blast through that zone. The Chinese are the ones that's going to drop the parachutes out of the planes. They got to find out where to fly their planes into America, away from the nuclear blast. The enormous balloon drifted for days, first entering American airspace over Alaska before heading southeast over Montana, Missouri, and the Carolinas. They trying to get land reconnaissance. You don't never hear Russia messing up, making a mistake with no balloon. They make a mistake with submarines. We caught multiple of their submarines that got stuck out in sea because they were spying on us because they are planning the sub attack while China is working with them, planning the aerial attack by dropping troops. China's part of the invasion. After Russia hits America with a stun, with a nuclear missiles and all of that, China comes from the air with them and invade the land. Saints, this is why you got to join me in the arena. We must save our country. Our country is on the brink of nuclear disaster. Jesus showed me by visitation face to face. The only thing that'll turn this around, there has to be a specific targeted meeting for just this war that's coming to America and those who will humble themselves that are God's people that are called by his name and pray and seek his face and turn from their wicked ways. If the Christians do not gather together with me in these arenas and we lead our country back to God, we're going to lose our nation. And I humbly say this, I know God has given me the answer. When I warned this country about 9-11 for many years, for 10 years before it ever happened. He's 100% accurate on prophetic dreams. When I was in college, Sid, I had another dream. And the Lord said to me, behind this attack is Russia. So I would go all the way to New York and drive around the trace and, and begin to tell that the terrorists are going to bomb this place. And I tried to warn the American public and nobody listened to me because they never thought a plane would ever hit the United States like this. It ain't just about miracles and healing crusade, which I'm doing that. It's about the preservation of a nation. We must preserve America. And I've been assigned for this purpose. Let's come together and get on our knees before God. Because if we humble ourselves and we repent, not only as the church, but on behalf of the whole nation, if we come together, God will turn this war around. We must quit the bickering. We must quit the governmental fighting. Our enemies is seeing this stuff. United we stand, divided we'll fall. Have you had dreams about World War III and about America being invaded? Apostle needs every one of you who have seen dreams about this to send your dreams to him now. Apostle wants you to text him directly at 720-570-6647 or email your dreams over to Apostle at visitations at koggc.org. Order your copy of the newly released book by David E. Taylor, Prophecy to America, for only $15 by calling 1-877-THE-GLORY. That's 877-843-4567. And so let's see now uh, Arena Crusade starting in Orlando. And this place has already been reserved, has already been bought and paid for by you, the prayer partners and givers and donators. And uh, you have reserved this place. So there is a seat for you reserved right now. 
And uh, so let's, oh, there it is right now. Couldn't see it on the monitor, but it's behind me. Isn't that incredible? Uh, this is where the power of God is going to sit heavy on that arena. You've got to be there. You absolutely must register right now, even though it's over a year away. You must register right now and begin to make plans because God is going to, uh, like no other time in history, is going to come down and sit. The spillover effect on that city, on that area, on that region is going to just transform all of central Florida and beyond going throughout the United States, but you must be in a seat where God comes down and visits while he is working with Apostle Taylor, where the power of God is going to just, I'm telling you, every person in that building is going to be prostrate under the power of God, just like it happens here, when from this building here where I'm standing all the way to the back, and it's 160 feet all the way to that back wall. It's 120 feet wide in this sanctuary. I don't know what that square footage works out to be, but uh, the, uh, everyone is just falling out under the power of God. You have to just walk over bodies, walk over people. Chairs are scattered. I mean, it's pristine right now. The chairs all the way to the back are, are just in a beautiful array, a row. But they're tossed around as people just fall out of that power of God. Well, everyone, this is the moment that we have been waiting for. Let all distractions decrease and let your focus increase as um, it is nearly time. Uh, to bring uh, out Apostle, uh, but we're going to go to Houston first. And oh, I'm so glad uh, that we do have another minute uh, because uh, I, I love to, before Apostle comes out, I love to see the view, the Zoom audience. Just uh, give Apostle love, give him a wave. Oh yeah, I, I feel your love from here, uh, wherever you are watching from. And I know some of you from other parts of the world, you just feel that love come through uh, the the uh, the zoom screen toward Apostle and know that he is watching and loving you as well right now. But we want to hear from Houston. We have been talking about this uh, campus of the harvest and uh, we want to go there now and there they are. And uh, good to see you again, Pastors Joseph, Mariah, and Alexis. And it's uh, always a joy to go to Houston and see what God is is doing down there. Go right ahead. It's good to see you tonight, Pastor Steve, and it is amazing to be here tonight as we cannot wait for Apostle to come out and to speak to us. We've been having these Thursdays. It's been so incredible. Pastor Mariah, Pastor Alexis, as every Thursday, Apostle Taylor is blessing us, coming forth, speaking from his historical shutaway over three years where the glory of God is just eminent, where apostles have had face-to-face -face visitations from the Lord, and it's been amazing. And I, I know there's so many leaders across the world that have been calling in when is Apostle coming out? We want to you know, hear from Apostle. Well, you got to tune on Thursdays because he is ministering on Thursdays. And of course, we know when he does step out of shut away, it'll be a cataclysmic moment in the world and for the kingdom of God. But we're so thankful to be here, so thankful for this moment. And I cannot wait to see what Apostle is going to bring forth tonight and the miracles that are going to happen for you and your family. Amen. I mean, we already know what's about to happen tonight. Come on. We know the glory is about to be released tonight. This is why you want to take time. And if you have not yet begun to share, text, let people know to get on tonight because we already know, as you said, Apostle has been in this shut-in for almost four years. And that glory is just consistently constructing, consistently getting more weightier. And that's why the miracles have been so out of this world. I mean, we've seen what people who have been in wheelchairs for over 20 years. Can you imagine waiting 20 years, praying to went for 20 years? and believing and, and hoping that something was going to happen. And then they tune in, and because of the price that Apostle's been paying, his obedience, his willingness to obey God, here is miracles are erupting. And now tonight we're praying for the main, Apostle's praying for the mir miracles for the main. Amen. And this is something that our generation has prayed to see, but only Apostle has been willing and obedient to pay the price to see it. So we're so excited. Again, take this time to share. Man, absolutely. And how amazing, because, you know, as you mentioned, it's been almost four years. And last year, we did not see Apostle like this. You know, he was in a very deep time of consecration. So even the fact that Apostle is getting on every Thursday is 
a blessing. You know, every time now we're getting kind of, you know, more accustomed, like, okay, we get to see apostle every week, but it was not like this before, you know? So this is a, a real special treat, but you know, as apostle comes, I mean, he's preparing the masses for arenas, you know, preparing our hearts for the move of God, you know, that's going to take the whole world by storm. Face-to-face has already been hitting the globe for decades, but I mean, is getting amped up to a whole nother level. So even as apostle and his love is coming to us, we get to prepare our hearts, you know, to go out and reach the masses. But I'm truly excited. And when Apostle comes, he doesn't just pray for the sick. He's been dropping revelation on, you know, patience and faith and how to birth miracles, signs and wonders, like things that most leaders, if they walk in things, they hide it. They hoard it. They keep it to themselves. They want to be seen on stage, but that's it. But no, Apostle, he is a teacher. He's a trainer. You are here today because God is going to train you in your destiny. Amen. That's absolutely right. And, you know, just like Apostle ministered on a Thursday night, you need to call in and pray the prayer of agreement to touch and agree over the phone. And, you know, right in this Campus for the Harvest, there are ministers and apostles this train on the phones right now. And many people are calling in, so many thousands. I mean, this is the busiest prayer center, prayer, 24-7 prayer center in America. And Dream Interpretation Prayer Line, or Prayer Line, you can call in with Dream Interpretation and get your dreams interpreted. I don't know if any other dream interpretation line you could call 24-7. Thank God that Apostle has raised up this uh, prayer line and dream interpretation line. Now you can call right now to pray the prayer of agreement, to touch and agree for your miracle. Even as Apostle is about to come out, call that number, 1-877-THE-GLORY. Call as you know you receive your miracle tonight and continue to call in throughout the day, throughout the Throughout the month, Apostle has made this prayer line available for you. You have needs, whether it's physical, financial, in your marriage, your children, educational, whatever it is, call that number and you will see God. Do exactly what Jesus said. It will be done of the Father tonight. Amen. So, Pastor Steve, we're excited. There's amazing miracles happening every single day at the campus for the harvest. And so, amazingly, the greatest miracle of all, Jesus appearing face to face to those here at the campus and around the world, bearing witness of the move of God here, bearing witness of his friendship, apostle, and what's taking place. So Pastor Steve, no other great, greater place to be on, or to be here tonight and to be a part of than the kingdom of God on earth. And we're looking forward to hearing what God is saying apostle tonight. And uh, Pastor Steve, we cannot wait to, for you to come down, you know, and to come down to sunny Texas to see the campus for your own self and all the millions of supporters out there to come and see these amazing campuses that Apostle has established. Pastor Steve. Yes, absolutely. And I uh, would love to walk the grounds there on Houston. Uh, I've been able to walk the grounds on other places, but uh, the, the grounds on Houston. And then, of course, when Apostle gets that next step, the next huge place in St. Louis, I'd uh, love to walk on those grounds as well. And uh, it's just a joy to be anywhere Apostle Taylor is. And I see the Zoom audience is still up. That's good because it is now time. It is that greatest joy, this moment that we have right now when we absolutely, we step into the presence of God. We step under an open heaven, a portal into the glories, into the kingdom of God. Welcome everyone. Uh, just wave and just uh, show whatever honor, reverence uh, that you care to do uh, for Apostle Taylor. We love him so much. And Apostle Taylor, we are ready to receive you. Welcome, sir. Hello, everybody. Hello, world. Hello, America. And so I love you all. And you know, I've been in here in Shutaway for three and a half years and I'm wearing black because I'm in sackcloth and ashes too. You know, this is a time of repentance for me. I was just sharing that with a, another young prophet that I know uh, that I love too. And, uh, you know, this is just a season where God is really dealing with my heart about just more love and being a friendly evangelist, being more loving. And I was just telling him, I, you know, I usually wouldn't have a conversation with nobody right before service, but the Lord just told me to call him. And so, uh, you know, the Bible says if you got ought against your brother, you know, go leave your gift at the altar while you're praying and go reconcile with him. And of course, we've never had ought because we don't have that kind of heart. Even if we don't agree, we don't have ought against each other. You know what I'm saying? I know Christians who just hold a fence and stuff. You can't have God in your heart with a bunch of that wickedness and foolishness in you. But at the same time, I realized since I've been in here, the Lord has just I've had a time to slow down, come off the road in ministry, uh, come out of the heat of battle. Sometimes when you're battle fatigue, like I have been and you're in constant warfare, your heart 
can become insensitive to things God wants you to be sensitive to. And that's why it's time sometimes to withdraw from the road and seek God and humble yourself and let him break you, let him mold you. And uh, he just been dealing with me about the just walking in more love, you know, and uh, I was just telling them, you know, just saying, listen, you know, you know, years ago when I first met you, I didn't have the kind of love I have now. And I just want to apologize to you for not loving you as a younger preacher, as a younger millennial preacher, uh, you know, a younger prophet, you know, that I could have probably done more for. And so I was just, you know, I was just thankful that I just did that right before I got on here. And that's that's what's real for me. You know, not doing ministry. I was just telling him doing ministry is wonderful, but loving is more important than doing ministry. Ministry is a labor of love, but it can also be nothing but work. And you're not getting your heart right. How many of you understand what I'm saying? And so you can't be in God's presence and in his glory like this and he not deal with you and change you and he not deal with you about the past and the changes and stuff like that. And I was just so happy he even reached out to me. Uh, and I told God since I've been in here when he we dealt with me about just the, the, the deeper love. I just said, whoever you bring across my path that reaches out to me from the past or that I come across. I'm going to make sure that I make up with loving them the way I need to. So I, I just, this just has made me happy. I, I feel the Lord is so pleased as well, you know, cause this is my heart. You know, I, I, I want to love not only the Lord, but I love his people and I love all of you. Hello, everybody. I see y'all on zoom. How are you doing? I see you over 200 of y'all. I see you on Facebook. I see you on, uh, uh, do we have my, the different devices where I can see those on Facebook, my website, then, uh, after the website, then on Facebook website, YouTube. But I want to say hello, everybody. Can y'all wave at me? How y'all doing? Y'all look so beautiful tonight. Tell me, text me and tell me where you're watching from. Text me and tell me where you're watching from, where you're watching from. I don't see your faces, some of you. Tell, I want to see your faces. Some of y'all are hiding your faces from me. <laughs> and so we have people watching from 177 nations are watching all over the world. And I want you all on my, on my personal website on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Zoom. Tell me where you're watching from. Type in the city or the state or the country you're from overseas or in America. Someone tell me where you're watching from. I know I tell you to do it all the time because I want to see those names. Hallelujah. I'm excited too. Now, I want all of you on Facebook, <clears throat> all of you on YouTube, all of you on Zoom, all of you on my website. I want you to share this right now. Share it everywhere because miracles are about to flow in the next few minutes. And we want to reach out as to many as people we can to get them on here if they need a miracle. I know everyone needs a miracle. Everyone needs something from God. So you need to go ahead and make sure that you Make contact with them and reach them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So do that now. I want everybody. Let's be an evangelist. Come on. Everybody be an evangelist on Facebook, on YouTube. That's right. On Zoom. I want you to I want you to uh, post and share this right now everywhere. Share this meeting right now. If you got your Facebook on. That's why you on Zoom also need to be on Facebook because Facebook helps you to share things. But if you have a Facebook page, share it on Facebook. Share it from YouTube. You on YouTube, share the YouTube from Facebook right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. And, you know, when I was talking about love, it's very important. You know, some people see when I rebuke my stuff, oh, he don't walk in love. No, that is love. You see, that, see that's why you got to study love from God's perspective, not from what it looks like from man's eyes. That's what Jesus says. Judge not according to outward appearance, but judge according to righteous appearance. The Bible says the Lord loves those who he corrects. 
And usually leaders feel like, oh, you shouldn't correct nobody while you're in the middle of service. No, not in the glory. Glory requires that immediately things have to change. You see, now when you operate in an anointing and a gift, yeah, you can you can do it afterwards. But when you're in the glory, you got to keep up with God right at immediately. So you got to understand that. So a lot of people, they misjudge everything. They think, oh, he's wrong for correcting people and doing that. No, I'm not. That's actually love. Amen. So I want you to understand the difference. And so. Hallelujah. Everybody put your hands on that part of your body that's sick. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke all manner of sickness and disease. I command all spirits of deafness to go, all spirits of blindness to go. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke all manner of sickness and disease. I command it to go in Jesus' name. You that are sick in your body, put your hands on that part of your sickness. If it's a tumor, put your hands on that body where that tumor is. If it's your neck, put your hands on your neck. If it's your eyes, put your hands on your eyes. Do it now. All that is is an act of faith. Right now, miracles are about to flow. Hallelujah. Not only for the main, but for everyone that is on this line right now, tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, I stretch forth my hands, Lord God, with your power. And I command all manner of demon sicknesses, all manner of spirits of infirmities to go. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke all manner of sickness and disease in Jesus name you devil of torment you devil of sickness you spirit of infirmity I command you to leave the bodies of the people now tonight you spirit of lack I rebuke you in Jesus name that's why I come against the demon of lack the demon of loss yeah the demon of stealing and stealing taking things from us in the name of Jesus I release restoration but I deal with this demon of lack that causes maimness that causes things to be cut out of our life that causes us to lose things I deal with the demon behind the maimed I come against your power your authority in all of our lives in Jesus name I take authority over you now go in Jesus name all manner of sickness, all manner of disease. I release miracles for all manner of circumstances. Right now, I want you to lift your hands and receive it. That's right. That chest condition goes. That ear condition goes. That's right. When I call out your condition or not, the, the heat of God start to come on your body. The pain leaves. Those migraines leave in Jesus' name. Those That knee condition leave in Jesus' name. That sicker cell anemia leaves in Jesus' name. That's right. That chest condition leaves in Jesus' name. Leukemia leaves in Jesus' name. Lung cancer leaves in Jesus' name. Brain cancer leave in Jesus' name. That's right. Cancers of the eyes leave in Joshi Kiti Brakai. I rebuke cancer of the eye. I've never heard this one. I heard cancer in the eye, cancer in the retina. In the name of, I rebuke cancer in Jesus' name. All manner of tumors and diseases, I command you to leave in Jesus' name. I take authority over you. I speak death and I curse you from the root in the name of Jesus. I take authority over your existence, over your cells. I take authority over the life of a cancer, the life of a tumor, the life of a growth, the life of a ovarian cell. Cysts. I come against cysts and growths in women's bodies, in their breasts, in their female areas. I come against growths in their backs, under their arms. I command all manner of sicknesses in the form of cancers to leave in Jesus' name. Cancer in the blood, cancer in the bones, cancer in the brain, cancer of all sorts. Leave in Jesus' name. Stomach condition leave right now. That's right. Eye condition leave in Jesus name right now. Bone disease leave right now. <sighs> Lift your hands. Miracles are happening all over right now. Miracles are happening right now. Right now. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. The sick is being saved right now. The sick is being saved right now. The sick is being saved right now. Uh, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith shall save the sick in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you are starting to be healed. You're starting to feel healing go through your body. You're starting to feel well. Yes. Pain is leaving your body. 
Tell me what's happening. Many of you are feeling heat on your eyes, wherever you are right now. Somebody, a growth. I just saw a growth fall off. I just saw a growth disappear. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. That growth is gone. If you feel that pain is gone where the growth was, the growth is gone as well. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Our ear condition is being healed. Ear just was healed. I give you praise. I give you glory, wonderful Jesus. Yes, another throat condition. A throat condition is being healed. That's connected with a chest condition condition. Yes, Lord, that is unusual. I never heard that. A throat condition connected with a chest condition is being healed. Thank you, wonderful Lord. I hear you. I give you praise for that. Yes, thank you, wonderful Jesus. Somebody in the back of your head, you're being healed. I give you praise. You feel heat going through your body. I feel God's power tonight. Yes, I rebuke all manner of sickness and disease. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Oh, thank you for dealing with all manner of spirits of infirmity, all manner of unholy spirits that's not like you I come against spirits of bondage I break bondage Lord I release deliverance in Jesus name to every captive I break your strongholds in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus a woman in your right breast, you have a lump in your right breast, lady. The Lord is healing you. I give you praise. I give you glory. Wonderful Jesus. Yes, you you're in your right breast. It's your right breast, lady. The Lord is healing you of a growth, a lump in your right breast. If you are checked, go to the bathroom or wherever. The Lord has healed you, lady. Thank you. Wonderful Jesus. I give you praise. That's right. A man has prostrate cancer. A man has prostrate cancer. The Lord is healing you, man. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now bring up the, the, all the pictures of the main right now in the sanctuary. Bring that up and pull that up on the screen right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I now release glory, your power for the maimed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the maimed tonight. This is the specialty. You commanded me to pray for the maim. I pray for the maim in Jesus' name. God, I pray for wholeness. I pray for miracles of wholeness. You told me to pray for the maimed in the name of Jesus. I release their legs. I release from heaven their arms. I release from heaven their fingers. I release from heaven any organ or body part that's missing in the name of Jesus. Uh, right now, I release it. Jesus' name. I release a heaven of wholeness in the name of Jesus. God, whatever organ they missing, a kidney, a pancreas, anything in their body that don't work, something that's missing, pancreas, insulin being missing in their pancreas. God, I pray for all pancreases. God, that you heal and bring insulin back into their pancreas. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of diabetes. I rebuke the spirit of arthritis. I rebuke the spirit of all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. I take kingdom government and authority over all manner of sickness, all manner of disease, and that which is not of heaven, that which heaven has not released upon the earth. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Every demon, every sickness, every bondage, I break your power in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Right now, Lord, I give you praise. There's so many miracles taking place. There are so many miracles taking place. That's right. Them legs are being healed. That blood condition is being healed. That's right. Many of you are feeling heat go through your body. That's right. I pray for the main. God, give them his legs back. Give them their arm back. Give them their fingers back. Give them their toes back. Give them their foot back. In the name of Jesus, give them circulation back before they lose their foot and their leg. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands everywhere. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Yes, God, the main the maimed we pray for the maimed in the name of Jesus 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 all right, pull up all the pictures of all the people the thousands of people that's right pull those up now Father, I pray for the masses, all 15,000 of these precious, your precious people on this screen in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, stretch your hands all over the world right now, wherever you're watching. God, I pray for every single person. God, that's experiencing sickness, experiencing mind blockages. God's experiencing mental illness in the name of Jesus. I release your power in Jesus name. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Lord. Many of you are feeling power in your body. Thank you. God is making you whole. That's what these miracles are about. Miracles of wholeness. God, I release miracles of wholeness. That's what you told me to pray. You told me to, re- to, to deal with the demon behind the spirit of maimness. It's called the spirit of lack. Yes, the spirit of lack, the spirit that comes against wholeness. It's a blockage that keeps you from having everything you need. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke what the spirit latches on to in the lives of your people, God, to make them lack something. In Jesus' name, restore in the name of Jesus. I pray for restoration. Stretch your hands toward this camera. Lord, I pray for restoration in the name of Jesus. Come and hold this mic real quickly. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for restoration. Stretch your hands. God told me to lift my hands up. Father, in Jesus' name, stretch your hands wherever you are, wherever you are, anywhere in the world. Stretch your hands toward that screen. All that is an act of faith. Put your hands on my hand. Let's agree. Let's touch and agree. Do it now in the name of Jesus. He said, if any two of you shall touch and agree as asking anything, it shall be done for them of my father in heaven. And father, right now, I release your power. I release your glory on every single person watching, on every single person who will be watching in the name of Jesus. I release your power and I rebuke all manner of infirmity, all man of sickness in Jesus name I command it to go now in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah I give you praise I give you glory thank you wonderful Jesus I give you praise I give you glory I give you praise I give you glory I give you praise I give you glory Start texting me. Many of you are being healed. Many of you just felt heat go through your body. Oh, many of you just felt heat. The pain is gone. That's right. That tightness is gone. Whatever it is, it's leaving you. That's right. Text me and tell me what happened to you tonight. Miracles are happening right now. <clears throat> Miracles are happening right now. Text me on Zoom. Text me on Facebook. Do it now. Many of you feeling heat go through your body. Some of you came here for a miracle. God is giving you a miracle tonight. Tonight is your night. So you never know the night. God will help me pray for sickness very strong. That could be your night. That's why you not you shouldn't miss one night. You don't know when God is going to do it for you. Lift your hands. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Miracles are being released tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Someone just said demons are being released out of them tonight. That's right. Those devils got to go. In Jesus name. They can't stay around here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tell me. Tell me what's happening with you. Come on. Text me. Many of you feeling heat. God's presence on your body. Tell me. That's right. Staff, start getting on these feeds. Tell me what the people are saying. That's right. Start taking these testimonies. There's many testimonies that somebody's back being healed, somebody's spine being healed, that somebody's ear being healed, somebody's head being healed. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's neck being healed, somebody's uh, torso being healed. That's right. Somebody's chest being healed. I give you praise. Legs and arms are being healed. Knees and 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 uh, and, and uh, joints are being healed. I give you praise. I give you glory. Wonderful Jesus. I give you praise. I give you glory. Wonderful Jesus. Yeah. I got a new revelation tonight while I was ministering. God started talking to me about the spirit behind the main. It's a spirit of lack, a spirit of loss, a spirit to cut off things. That's right. I come against that demon in Jesus name. I I come against him working with the elements and circumstances. Well, I I see you now. They're saying, say, now I know. See, God is adding to me every time I do this crusade for the main. I know what to pray. I know to pray for the miracles of wholeness. But now God just gave me a revelation. There's a spirit behind the main. There's a spirit behind taking your leg. There's a spirit behind taking your finger, taking your foot, taking your arm. There's a spirit behind it. It ain't a spirit of infirmity. It's a spirit spirit behind the main called the spirit of lack, the spirit of loss, the spirit to cut off, the spirit that that 
take something and steal something from you and cause something to be cut off or taken from you. I break that spirit and I release the opposite. I release the spirit from the Holy Ghost of restoration, the spirit of wholeness, everything that's been missing and broken in your life that's been stolen by the enemy. Even if he used your own sins, your own ignorance, your own misunderstanding, even if he used others, those things to take it from you. God, I pray for restoration for them in Jesus name. I pray for it to come back now in Jesus name. That's right. We rebuke that cut off spirit, that spirit that try to cut off the, the blessings of God. We rebuke that spirit in Jesus name. I feel the glory of God tonight. Hallelujah. It goes. Now everybody get praise to God right now in your homes. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. In the name of Jesus, do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Thank you. Tell me now. Tell me what happened to your body tonight. Many of you felt some in your body. Tell me your testimony. Type it out on Zoom. Do it now. Type it out on Facebook. Type it out on YouTube. Some of you came on this meeting with pain. The pain is all gone. I want to hear what happened to you. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lady. Uh, I see you. But you came in here with pain in your side. Sharp pains. The pain is just gone. It left doing prayer. Thank you. Wonderful. Jesus. You need to call me. You need to also text me. Tell me what's taking place. That's right. Ushers get in position. That's right. Miracles are happening. Call in now. Tell me now. Text now. Tell me what's happening on Facebook. That's right. You on Facebook. Tell me you on YouTube. Tell me what you feeling on your body right now. Quickly. That's right. Houston, get ready. Pastor Steve, get ready. That's right. That, 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 that's miracles happening right now. Thank you. Wonderful Jesus. Thank you. Wonderful Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Miracles. There's so many miracles. Lift your, lift your hands right now. Lift your hands right now. Lift your hands right now. There's glory still flowing all over this place. There's glory still flowing all over this place. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Thank you, wonderful. Tell me what's happening. Me, you're feeling miracles right now. Feeling miracles, 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 miracles. Tell me what's happening. Yes, sir. They're coming in. They're, they've been coming, coming in for a in. while they're, now. They've been coming in for a while. Heat everywhere. People are feeling heat. Thank you, Lord. I've uh, seen several no back pains. Back pain has left tonight, praise God. Gene, on Zoom, no pain in my back. Thank you, Lord. Jonathan, pain leaving now in my neck and shoulders. Praise God. And some in the chest as well. Pain is leaving. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Apostle, for this. It's been an incredible night. Praise the Lord. From Bridget, felt something leave me. Felt, I felt chills leave me. Now when Apostle rebuked that spirit of lack. And that is an incredible thing, Apostle. I know we'll hear more about that, yeah, that spirit of lack behind all this. She had a headache Zoom, uh, on Zoom with Bridget again. I had a headache, and it started going away. It felt such peace when Apostle started she praying when uh, Apostle pr prayed against the spirit of lack. I felt chills leave. Hallelujah. Hoo-hoo, she says. Love you, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Let's go to Houston now. Let's go to Houston. What's happening in Houston? What's happening, Pastor Joseph? Yes, sir, Apostle. So yes, many sir, miracles Apostle. tonight. Somebody, somebody on YouTube, sir. A Mammy Efren said her growth is gone. Throat condition is gone on YouTube. Praise God for that healing. A growth has just disappeared in Jesus' name. So where was that growth? Tell me, what is her name and where was that growth at? Yes, sir. We need uh, more information sent. We just have their name on YouTube. It just said growth is gone. Throat condition is gone. So it must have been in the throat, sir. So if you, if you that one with the throat, that and you had the growth, and that condition is gone, tell us your name and what, what happened to you. Uh, Y'all have to get their names. You need to get their names. You need to get their names and where they're watching from and their testimony. So tell us your name, your testimony, and where you're watching from. And 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 uh, this person, Mark Smith, said the tumor on my left shoulder is shrinking. That's right. We command it all to go in Jesus' name, Mark. 
in Jesus' name, Mark Smith. So listen to me. There are so many growths and tumors leaving tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, wonderful Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So I, I need to know where that tumor was. Okay, go ahead. So type that back out, whoever you are. If you hear me on YouTube, if that was you, type that back out right now so my staff can get the exact details of where that tumor was. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Demarcus Overton watching on Zoom from South Bend, Indiana. He said, my right, my right wrist has been aching for some weeks. It has been very stiff, but after praise, when Apostle began praying, I felt heat all over my body and I felt the Lord's hand wrap around my, my right wrist. And I heard Jesus say, I am healing your right wrist now. Then I tested and the stiffness is gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David and Daniel who were watching on Zoom said, my, my elbow is healed. Thank you, Jesus. Mark from the Philippines, he said that he feels heat coming all over his body. And he just felt wholeness over his whole life. He said, back pain is leaving me. So there's so many with, you know, heat and back pain leaving. It's just amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your glory, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you for doing these miracles. That's right, Sophia, Lara, God is healing you. God is healing you, Sophia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see your name here. God is healing you. Hallelujah is right, young lady. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Steve, what else is happening? I see on Facebook, Apostle on Helen Facebook. from New York, she says she just feels healing in my body. She wasn't specific, but she felt healing in her body. Thank you, Lord, and for that. Thank you. And, for, and then also on Facebook, Princess here in Detroit. Thank you, Jesus. My mother is now healed. I'd love to get details on that as well. But she says her mother is healed from this tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Back to Houston. Yes, sir. Praise God. This is awesome, Apostle. We have Michael in Delaware. He said he's watching on Zoom, sir. He said, I've been having a rapid drum beating in my eardrum. That would be so painful. It, it went away, he said, as you were praying. And he said also his headache went away. And he's thanking God right now on Zoom, Michael from Delaware. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And also say... In New Jersey, said there was a rushing heat on her head throughout her body as um, as Apostle stepped on and rebuked the spirit of lack. And she's saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Apostle. She's so grateful for this uh, the power of God that went through her body. She felt lack leave her life tonight all the way in New Jersey. Watch it on YouTube. Thank you, Jesus. Next. Melissa Ely, who was Melissa Ely, tonight, she said, I feel so much heat all over my body or all over my head and also on my chest. My chest just opened up. She said, praise God, thank you, Lord. Your daughter, who was also watching on Zoom, Shannon, she said, I feel the Lord healing my female kidney, bladder, and stomach area. And there are so many, again, testifying of just feeling the power and heat going through their body. Uh, your son watching from Facebook, Carl Carey, he said, pain in my legs, gone, 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 in all caps. Pain in my legs, I feel like I can run and jump again. All of it is gone, 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 glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. All of you that hadn't got your miracle, just lift your hands. Miracles are flowing now. Don't wait for me to call out your miracle. Receive it. You don't have to have me call it out. If you lift your hands and receive by faith, God will take that pain away here. Take that sickness away from you in Jesus name. All right. The next person. Yes, sir. We have Mukambe. They said that um, they are feeling relief in their minds. It's also Michelle Berry from Colorado. She said that she felt warmth all over her body. She said, thank you, Jesus. She said, I feel warmth. And she also said that she's um, feeling completely healed. And she's actually seeing clearly out of her eyes as well. And she's believing for her family and friends to be healed. But she felt that healing go through her eyes and her body. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Next. In Guyana, uh, Andriana says, I am healed of neck pain tonight. Praise God. All the way in Guyana. Uh, we also have um, Charlene. She said, I feel the glory of God all over my body and heat in my room. So many are experiencing God's presence. They're typing in that they feel fire. They feel heat taking place just all in their, not just their body, but in the very atmosphere of where they're watching from. Val Valvet, she said, I'm healed from pain in Jesus' name. She's uh, watching on Zoom. And uh, so many more miracles are still coming in. God just revealed to me by me dealing with the spirit behind maintenance. This will be one of the, this will be one of the key revelations for the main to get their body parts back. He says, you got to deal with the spirit behind it. You rebuke the spirit, just like when you rebuke the spirits behind cancer or be behind any other blood disease. He, he's just showing me. He's showing me. He said, it's the spirit behind it. You got to deal with it. 
and people will get their legs back. You see, this this thing, this man, I'm birthing out the glory manifestation of the man. He's already given it to me, but he's teaching me as I go in this area because nobody is healing the man. The main by the masses are not getting healed, you see, but this is why we got to do this. We got to birth it out. God has to reveal revelation. And every night I get on this platform every Thursday night to let God reveal to me how to deal with the main. He adds a little bit to me. I'm remembering in my repertoire everything he's teaching me so that the main will be made whole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So now tonight, while I'm in the spirit, he's teaching me about the type of spirit that's behind this thing and to deal with it. And he and we will see legs come back. We will see feet come back. We will see toes and fingers come back and hands and arms come back in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for that revelation. OK, the next person. All right, Pastor Mariah, let's go. What's happening? Yes, sir. Um, your daughter sir. watching on Michelle Berry. She said the high pitch ringing has left and my eyesight is clear. She said, thank you. No more lack in my life. Hallelujah. You're, you, you have another daughter watching named Dana on Zoom. She said, I asked for prayers of healing for my knees about two months ago. They are completely healed now. For the last month, I for the last month, I've been able to work my job of doing yard work and gardening, which I love and is my main income. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. And it's just like Brittany Davis says, the things we don't see. That's right, Brittany. It's the things we don't see. It's the spirits that you can't see that's behind the main being being uh, having their legs cut off and their their hands and stuff cut off and missing body parts. We got to deal with the unseen realm, the spiritual realm where these demons are causing these things. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. I never know there was a demon behind the maimed. I'm getting revelation. There was a demon behind the maimed. The demon. I didn't know that. God just revealed to me tonight the demon that's behind the maimed. See, we think lack only deals with when you lack money or stuff. No, lack deals with anything that has been cut off or you don't have enough or you're missing something. The spirit of lack is behind the maimed. And it seems simple, but it's not. That's the demon behind it. And we get rid of all spirits of lack in the name of Jesus in every area. Any place you are maimed financially, spiritually, physically, we command wholeness in Jesus name. Lift your hands and receive wholeness, wholeness, restoration of lost things, restoration of things that's been cut off from you. Opportunities, doors, a shake, kukai. That's right. Relationships in the name of Jesus. I release wholeness and restoration wholeness in your destiny if your destiny is maimed if your destiny has been cut i pray for wholeness in your destiny that's right your legs to come back in your destiny in the name of jesus wholeness nothing missing nothing lacking spiritual maimness to your destiny things that's been cut off things that's happened for whatever reasons god i release the spirit of restoration in these areas the spirit of wholeness, the spirit of bringing it back again, what they lost in the what was cut off, what was taken, what was stolen. You said the years that the canker worm hath eaten, I shall restore. You said I will restore the years that have been stolen for you. The years, God, the years of maimness, the years of stuff being taken and cut off. I release restoration, a spirit of restoration in everybody's life, watching and hearing the sound of my voice by your spirit in the name of Jesus. I release it now. All right, next. Somebody said, Emperor H said, leg pain, leg pain is gone. Go ahead, what's happening? Yes, sir, we have Stacy Black from Michigan. She said that her left knees has stopped hurting, her chest opened up, and um, a small kernel that was in her right breast that she had it from the time she was a teenager, she felt electricity flowing through her body, even through her eyes and throughout her whole body. And then we also, Carl Carey again said he also had pain in his legs, but then now that pain left, he felt like he could run and jump again, and he gives God all the glory for it. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Such mass miracles are taking place at one time. God's glory is healing so many people. Lord, I thank you for mass power of miracles, mass powers of deliverance, mass powers of healing, mass powers of miracles, mass powers of deliverance, mass powers, Lord God of glory in Jesus name. Mass powers of anointing and power gifts in Jesus name. 
I've got Penelope. I'm from oh. off of Facebook, diagnosed with COPD in a couple spots on my lungs. Pray for complete. Oh, I'm sorry. This she's asking for complete healing. Uh, she is being healed, but asking for complete healing. Praise God for that. Thank you, Lord. A YouTuber, depression is gone from Carolyn in Macomb, Mississippi. Depression is gone. I feel great. I just heard the Lord say to me, he said, have everybody on Facebook and YouTube and on Zoom. He said, every time a miracle is called out, every time a miracle is seen or called out, you are to type praise God. That's right. Interact with God. Let's give God the praise. You're to type it out. Don't just say it. You type it out. That's right. Interact online in the name of Jesus. God said, praise me. He said, praise me. Every time a miracle, have God say, say, praise God. Type praise God every time after a miracle is called out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Push those hearts every time a miracle happened. Push those hearts to show God this is my heart and type praise God. That's right. Interact in the name of Jesus. Put them hearts on there. Praise God. Take, put hearts. That's right. Push it in Jesus' name. All right. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So much is happening, yes, Apostle. So no. In Colorado, watching on Zoom, the Lord healed her lower back and her uh, sacrum and lumbar spine is healed. Spinal healings are happening today. And she says, glory be to God all the way in Colorado. Michelle on Zoom, sir. And uh, so many more miracles. Happen. Say praise God. Type praise God. That's right. Let's thank God for that lower back being healed. Thank you. Push those hearts. Push those likes. That's right. Tell them. Interact. Interact. Go ahead, Joseph. Yes, sir, Apostle. Another yes, sir, amazing Apostle. miracle. There's someone that uh, seek us. She said, I called for prayer two days ago. Uh, she, had, she was suddenly sick with flu symptoms. And one of your ministers prayed for her, Apostle. And she got healed. She said her throat is healed. Eyes are healed. Body is healed. And uh, this happened two days ago, but testifying today, praise God, calling in to the miracle prayer line, apostle, praying and touching and agreeing. Praise God. And that's why I want to say to you, y'all need to call that prayer line. If there's anything you believe in God for, th stuff comes up every day. That's why I have a 24 hour prayer line for you to call. God told me this is a season that people need to be calling the prayer line. He says, this is the season. I'm saying this to you. God told me, he says, this is the hour of touching and agreeing. Jesus said, if any two of you, any two of you shall touch and agree as asking anything in my name, doing prayer, it shall be done for them of my father, which is in heaven for wherever two or three not you by yourself there's a certain kind of answer to prayer that God requires two or three you got to get with somebody else and let them pray with you and you pray with them y'all got to both agree this is the season God told me this is a season of agreement this is a season of the prayer of agreement this is a season of touching and agreeing that's why you need to call in that that 187 the glory number that we have I have established a, 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 a prayer center so that you can can call anytime you need agreement. God says there are things you've been waiting on. You need to make a list. I'm, I hear God telling me, he says, tell them they need to make a list of the things they really believe in me for and then call your call center and pray with someone I've, I've used you to train so that they can see those things take place. Some of y'all are not seeing things happen in your life because you won't pray with nobody. You think I can just go to God by myself. Certain seasons require another person. A certain types of answers to prayer requires two not one not just you you understand even Jesus you ain't above Jesus when Jesus was about to go to the cross he said he woke Peter James and John and them, says watch with me for an hour and pray with me for an hour he needed people to pray with him and he was the son of God so who are you you need prayer warriors you need somebody you can agree with about something you believe in God to do Hallelujah. So don't be prideful. Don't be stubborn. Don't be arrogant. God has made a, a way, a system to get your prayers answered. Obey that word. Yes. The next person. There is actually another testimony that came in from the call center. This is Norval and Jean Sutherland from the UK. And the testimony is this, I believe, came in yesterday initially. It said Jean has just read the face to face book today. And she said that she's going to cancel her, her appointment before they were, I'm sorry, before they wanted to, before they wanted to pray because she believed that God was going to heal her. After receiving prayer 
And the word from apostle, she felt Jesus touch her and her body began to be healed. She had fibromyalgia and it has caused a lot of issues, but she felt them go away. They, they said, apostle, we love him and we, and he means so much to us. And they're going to be on the service tonight. So they're on the service tonight, apostle. But this is the testimony she felt healing in her body after she received the prayer of agreement after calling the call center center. The call center. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's praise God. That's right. Type those praise God. Push those hearts. Push those likes. Every time there's a miracle, push it. Come on. Come on. I don't see y'all pushing it on, on Facebook. I don't see you pushing it on YouTube. Come on. Push those likes, those hearts. Come on. Do it in Jesus name on Zoom. Come on. Praise God. Everybody say praise God. Let us praise the Lord for these miracles. Hallelujah. Such miracles, such miracles. And then there needs to be some people typing out the miracle. Thank God for this miracle just happened what we just mentioned somebody type out the miracle so we'll know what part of the service these miracles are happening and what kind of miracles hallelujah i need somebody that's right some of the evangelists on staff that's on zoom now that just came into the to the thing you should be typing that out help in that way that's right type out the miracle that's just spoken and say thank god for healing this person who was healed of boom 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 what you just heard that's right do it on facebook do it on youtube do it on zoom all right, the next person. Yes, sir. Um, Robin Alexander from Texas. He said that he started feeling, uh, started feeling things, uh, feeling come back into his fingers from neuropathy. And he's also believing it for it to come into his feet, but he started to get feeling back in his fingers. And then another person, uh, Kathy, she said, my knee is healed. She feels so much better. She's literally shaking because the power of God and the heat has been so strong all over her. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's praise God for that. Thank you, Jesus. Type praise God. Thank you. Praise God. We give you praise for that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord just said to me, he says, some people, they don't call your prayer line because sometimes they don't have money and they, they feel like when they call in, our ministry will ask them to support. But that is no reason not to call in. We're, we always ask everyone to support what we're doing. But there's no pressure. If you don't have any money, you can still call in. Or if you don't have it on, you don't let you not have it. Because the call center is free. It's not to charge you for praying for you. That's why I created it. And God told me to make it. Amen. So I don't want you to feel like. You know, I don't have any money to give and I, I know they may ask and I don't want to feel like I don't have none. I only want to call when I have some. No, don't be like that. If you don't have anything, just call anyway and say, I, I need this to be prayed for. And when you get the finances, I know you're going to be obedient. You're going to give to this. But my heart is to pray for you to see your miracles, financial miracles, miracles in your home, miracles in your marriage, miracles in your body, miracles in your business, miracles in your ministry, miracles in your destiny. Hallelujah. So I, I want to deal with that. God has just told me, he said, you need to deal with that. Deal with that. And I know I have a bunch of a lot of zealous people. They want to help me to raise the finances so so that uh, uh, we can uh, we can keep moving and doing. But I never want nobody to feel like they can't call in just because they don't have finances. God can give you a miracle. God wants you to touch and agree. God wants you to touch and agree. God wants you to call that number like many people are doing and touch and agree. Amen. Amen. And if anybody in my ministry made you feel like you got to give every time you call or you feel pressured when you don't have anything, that ain't my heart. I am training a bunch of uh, young students and, uh, and ministers that they're still learning how to deal with people in love. They, they are learning. So, you know, they are make mistakes. And I want you to understand that. But my heart, you need to hear my heart. My heart is to love you. My heart, I was sent to you by the Lord. To do the work of God. Amen. And freely I receive, I freely give. And the reason why our ministry is blessed is because I do it this way. I don't wait till people get money to pray for them or prophesy to them or to interpret their dreams. No, we do it whether they have money or not. So I want you to know my heart. 
You blow up my line. I don't care if you have money or not. You blow it up and say, I need prayer for this. I need you to agree with me. This is something I haven't seen God do in my life. And I really need the prayer of agreement in this area. Amen. All right, Joseph, what's happening? Yes, sir. Apostle, so many miracles, yes, sir, sir even around the world as uh, Bonita in South Africa tuning in, praising God. Thank you, Jesus. My left knee is better now watching all the way in South Africa. The nations are being healed, Apostle. Y'all need to be uh, sharing this. Share this one more time. All of you on Facebook, share it again. Share it again. Share it on Zoom. Share it on, on Facebook. Share it on YouTube. Share it. Everybody be an evangelist. Share this. There's so many people getting healed. I sense that God wanted to heal so many people tonight, but we got to reach out to the masses. Reach out because Facebook is trying to shut down my, my platform. The only way people see what I'm doing is y'all got to spread it. They, they, they took my other YouTube channel that had millions of views, millions of people on it, millions. And we're not talking about a few. It was millions on there. You understand? They shut down my page. They shut down my YouTube that had millions of views there. And so I want you all, we're going to, we're going to fight back. I want, I want you to send this everywhere. You need to understand, and I'm talking to my internal staff as well. You need to understand, understand how important it is for you to share my, my YouTube and my post so the ministry can spread more through social media because they've been trying to shut us down through social media. That is the key. Spread it everywhere. Spread it everywhere. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. Rick and Michelle Moses. He said, my wife, Michelle Moses, healed of depression. Uh, it, tonight, he, I, she, she was healed of depression. You have another daughter watching. Deborah from Zoom said, praise God, I got my, my right leg healed tonight. Amen. And your daughter watching, uh, Crystal Glenn from Facebook, she said, I felt heat all over my body. And there are still testimonies coming in, um, just feeling the, the presence and the power, the heat of God. Apostle. Hallelujah. Next person. Yes, sir. We had Diamond. She said that she felt not just heat, but also movement in her body. She physically felt as she was getting healed underneath the power of God. And we have um, one of your daughters, actually, Sean Banks. She said that she has an amazing testimony of her brother, Darwin, who was healed in the hospital last week while he was there. Um, on Wednesday, he suffered a stroke. But because of the prayers of you, Apostle, um, you know, God ended up saving him from, um, I guess he also had a heart attack, I believe. It, I'm sorry. Okay, so it was a heart attack. But he's alive today, sir, because you prayed for him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's give God the praise. We give you praise, God. We give you praise. Give you praise for that heart attack. Give you praise for healing that heart attack. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pastor Steve, what's happening? Yes, sir. It's on Zoom. Uh, but she didn't give her name, just a Samsung phone. Apostle, I feel kidneys moving now. So I don't know what that means, but uh, it didn't sound good. But she has some, something is happening in her kidneys tonight. Yes. Now, listen, there are so many miracles happening. I'm going to let them finish. But tonight, I want you to give to the work of God. I told you last Thursday, we are believing God for five million dollars. That money did not come in all of it. We still need your support. And so I want you to support us. I need you to support us uh, right now. If I had 500 people to give ten thousand dollars, that will cover the five million dollars. And so some of you may have more than ten thousand. You have one hundred, three hundred thousand put away somewhere. You can cover 30 people. You may cover 10 people. You probably can give 30,000. You can cover three people. And even if you don't have ten thousand, you can give a thousand each month until you see that until you get you 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 sow ten thousand dollars if you don't have it and whatever you have you may not have the ten thousand but you may have something to give to this this campus and i want to put your names on this new campus and so that's why i need you to give tonight and i need you i need i need 500 people right now tonight to say i believe that god can give me i know he can give me five i mean ten thousand dollars in the next 10 months. Now I can give a thousand to it, 
or I can give $500 every two weeks. I need 500 people to commit and say, I'm talking about to walk by faith with me and believe God right now. I need 500 people to say, I'm going to stand with you, Apostle Taylor. We're going to make a vow that I'm going to give $10,000. And as God give me that money, I'm going to give it to the ministry. Come on. I need you to do it right now. Even if you got to do it over the next 10 months and so a thousand a month. Thank you, Jesus. Someone said, I really love this ministry. This ministry really loves you, too. Thank you, Jesus. And so you can text to give tonight. You can give in many different ways. I want you to be a part of what God is doing right now. Right now, they're going to tell you how you can give. But I want all the people right now to text me right now on Zoom and on Facebook. Don't be afraid. Step out in faith on YouTube and on Facebook. I want you to say I'm one of the ones I'll I'll be one of the 500 ones. I may not have the money or you may say I have the money or I have a portion of it and I'll start giving tonight. And that's what I want you to do. Give as much to it tonight as you can. So let me start seeing you. Come on, say say it. I don't care if you don't have the money on your person. I told you how God gave me money before. Thank you, Jesus. So I need I need to see people texting me right now and say, I'll do this. I'll stand with you for 10,000. Type it out. Say, I'll stand with you for 10,000 and I'm going to give what I can. Come on. Tell, tell me I need 500 people to do it. 500 people to stand with me right now. Type it out on Zoom. Say, I believe God to give me this money. Come on, I need 500 people and I need you to, to make this vow and then you're going to pray. We're going to pray that God give you the money and then you're going to be obedient and give the money when God give it to you. Whether he gives it all to you at once or in trinkles, you need to just be obedient. Amen. And st- don't be afraid. You say, I've never given that much money to church. How I'm going to get it? God will give it to you. It says he gives seed to the sower. If you make up your mind to sow, God will give you the seed. If you say, I want to sow 10,000, God will give you 10,000. We have to bring this money in supernatural right now. I'm calling for it through the supernatural ram, f- through people who don't even have the money. But I'm praying and I'm loosing the heavens that money will be loose to them in Jesus name so that we can get this next campus in Jesus name. How many will help me do that quickly, 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 quickly? I need some people to obey God tonight. Now, you may have 100, you may have 200, you may have 500 tonight. I want you to tell me what you're going to give toward the campus quickly. Tell me what you're going to give tonight. You, I, I know you're making the vows. I need 500 people to make the vow. But what I need you to do, too, I need you to say what you can give tonight. I know there are people who can give money tonight. There are some of you who can give 10000 tonight. You can give. I see somebody that can give 100000 tonight. That's right. You can give it. And you are listening to this and, and you are replaying this. You are replaying this. You wasn't on live, but you you were re-listening to this and you have the finances. God wants you to sow it. Sow that hundred thousand dollars into this charity, into this this ministry in Jesus name. Come on, tell me what you're you're sowing tonight. I don't care if it's five dollars. That's all you got. Say, I'll give what I got. Come on, do it now. Quickly say, I'll sow this on Facebook, on YouTube. Do it now. Quickly, 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 quickly. Don't waste time. When God says do something, you got to be obedient. Do it now. Someone said, I'm sowing $333. That's right, son. That's right. Somebody else, come on. There are many of you that got finances. Sow tonight. Don't let this night go by where the glory of God is flowing and you don't sow. I'm loosening the keys of the kingdom over your money so money can flow through your life. But money flows through people who give in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, do it. So tonight, tell me what you're giving tonight. I want all of you, even pastors, so out of your ministry, out of your church. So it tonight. Y'all know the campus, the new one costs 25 million and we need 5 million to put down on it. Do it now. We are already behind. We need more space. Y'all know that a lot of you've been asking to come, but the, the hotel is filled up. We need the next campus so that we can bring you. I want you to give. I want you to sow. 
I want you to tell others about this. People who give to charities, people who give to schools, people who want to who want to give to a school as a tax write off. T tell them this. In Jesus name, there are many of you, someone sowing 500 tonight, somebody else going to sow a thousand. I, I, I believe there are people that can sow a thousand tonight. Obey God tonight in Jesus name. Do it tonight. We must raise the finances for God's work. God told me, he says, don't rush the offering. You got to tell the people what you need. You have to tell them. Amen. And so I want I'm going to go to Houston, Texas and let let them tell you how you can give quickly. Yes, sir. Apostle, of course, there's so many ways to give. Call that number 877 the glory. That's 877 843 4567. You can give right by debit card, credit card. You can give by check right over the phone. And you can call that number 1877 the glory. Call now, and the minister of apostles will help you get your seat in the ground. Of course, there's other ways to give, such as Cash App. That's dollar sign K O G G C 2. You can also go to the website. Many of you that are watching overseas, praying overseas, believing God, thanking God for these miracles overseas, there is the PayPal link on the koggc.org slash donate website. There you'll find all the ways you can give. And of course, you see it on the LED screen as well. PayPal, there's Apple Pay, uh, Bitcoin, there's Zelle, there's text to give the 855-738-0961 number. You just text that number. It's on the screen on the LED at the right corner, and they will send you a link to which you, which you can click and put your information in. Of course, if you're mailing a money order um, or other such things, you can uh, email or mail that, excuse me, to KOGGC, write your check out to KOGGC, and you can send it to the 20320 Superior Road address in Taylor, Michigan, and that zip code is 48180. And of course, there's many other ways to give. If you have any questions, call that number, 1-877-THE-GLORY. That's right. You can also give through Zelle, and also, you know, you can give even through your retirement, your credit, uh, land, gold, different ways that you can give. You may not have it in your account right away. You may not have it in liquid, but you may have it in a different way. And all of those are options. Make sure that if you do have it, listen, don't hesitate. You get that in the ground tonight. And you can also call in that one eight seven seven the glory number if you need any assistance in your giving tonight. So you can also do checks by phone if you don't want to wait for something to go through the mail, which we know can be slow. You know, you can call in and you can fulfill obedience because apostles, he said tonight, you know, touch and power of agreement in prayer. You know, this is a time where two or more gather. God is working miracles, signs and wonders. And so as you call in, you know, with, um, you know, with what it is that you want to sow, you know, you can even touch in the power of agreement as well. So call the number one eight seven seven the glory and they can, you can get prayer from a minister as well. That's right. So many people calling in. Uh, there's a lot of testimonies coming in as well, Pastor Steve. We have uh, those that are already committing to give uh, some awesome commitments right now. Betty gave 500. God bless you, Betty. Erica on Zoom, sewing 50. God bless you. Crystal, sewing 100 on Zoom. And God bless you. And you know, like Apostle said, every time you see someone that's committing to vow, uh, committing to sow, rejoice. Thank God for the seed. Praise God for the seed. And those that are vowing, believe God with them for the seed and type on your Zoom link. I believe God with you for this for the seed to come. You know, we call that seed forth and thank God for the gifts that are coming in. Amen. Uh, Hanu, she's vowing 10,000 for 10 months watching on YouTube. God bless you so much. Been faithful for so many years. Uh, Alanda, I vow 10,000, giving 500 tonight. Thank God. Come on. Everyone participate. Thank God for the gifts. Let's be grateful, thankful people. Hallelujah. Uh, Avis uh, says, I'm doing 10,000 in 10 months or less. Praise God. That's right. We believe God for quick seeds coming to your life. Praise God. Michael said, I'm standing with you, Apostle, and I renew my vow tonight of 10,000. Hallelujah. Pastor Steve, amazing. God's people are stepping up, and we just want to thank God for Apostle tonight. Thank God for the vision. Thank God for he has cast and his life, his legacy, his, you know, over three years of shut away prayer laboring fighting and contending for our nation. And it's an honor and a privilege to stand with God's friend, amen, with God's chosen end time chief general. And we know, Pastor Steve, that the best is yet to come. This campus for the harvest in St. Louis is God's will. And we know Apostle's fighting, he's laboring, and we appreciate so much all of the labor of love, amen. And Pastor Steve, we know there's so many around the world they are supporting that love Apostle, that love this vision, 
And we thank God. I know Apostle, every day he is thanking God for your support for, and praying for our families. And we're going to see this come to pass. Pastor Steve. Yes, thank you, Pastor Joseph and team down there. And again, Apostle, thank you so much. Uh, so many testimonies have been coming in tonight. And the last few have just uh, reiterated what they were saying earlier. Depression has come off. Uh, anxiety, rejection has come off. And I know that when you came out, you were having us all to praise God and to just really thank God to worship him. And just in that praise, uh, heavy hands were lifted up, heavy hearts were lifted. And it's because of that. But once again, it is exactly what we needed. And we honor you tonight for being so perfect in tune with the Lord tonight in delivering to your people, to his people, uh, what God has intended for them tonight. All the, the healings were strong. Keep calling in, keep texting in. Apostle wants to hear these tonight and they'll be read tonight as they come in. But on that screen behind me, if we could uh, show how they can give, there it is right there. And if any of this information is just coming across too fast, or if the uh, you just don't have your pen, uh, whatever it is, just call 877-THE-GLORY. You've heard that number many times tonight, 877-843-4567. That number, all roads lead home with that number. Whatever, However you want to give, uh, it can happen when you call that number. A prayer partner will help you, walk you through it. You don't have to worry about making a mistake. Uh, you know, if you uh, uh, don't know what how many zeros is in 10,000, they can help you so you don't write down 1,000. You know, if it's your heart to give 10,000 tonight, which it is, Apostle was shown that from the Lord, that there are the $10,000 givers, even a $100,000 giver. So call that number, but there they are, how to give, text to give, that number 855-7380961. Be obedient to the man of God tonight. The power of God was flowing. Uh, the revelation of God was flowing. That was incredible uh, that there was a spirit, a demon of lack behind that. Even that demon of lack wants to take out your finances as well. Cash app, pay two dollar sign, K-O-G-G-C-2. Spirit of lack is broken tonight, even in your finances. Pay by Bitcoin. Apple Pay, 636-373-5357. Zale, give via Zale, face-to-face. -face. The way you do it is face-to-face -face at K-O-G-G-C dot org. And then PayPal, which is, oh, they took it off the screen. Uh, but that's, they, oh, there it is right there on the big screen. Yeah, do it that way. And uh, however you want to do it, just do it tonight. Do it right now fresh right now as the Lord is speaking to your heart. Don't wait till tomorrow or the next day. Do it right now. Even if you not get if you don't have your pay, you know, tomorrow's Friday, but you want to give, but you just don't have it to give tonight, call anyway and tell them what you want to do tomorrow. Make it a vow to the Lord. Make it a promise to the Lord to do that. Uh, but that is coming up. Payday is coming up. And uh, that's tomorrow for a lot of you, many of you. And uh, so I know by Thursday, you're kind of running a little low. Uh, but the Lord is speaking to your heart. Do that tonight. You can post date a check. You can do check over the phone and post date it for the day that you want. But do that tonight while the Spirit of the Lord is moving upon you and your heart is stirred. That's the time to give it. When your heart is stirred and it, that fire is on it, the dew of heaven is on it, the ground is uh, just ready right now for that seed. The perfect time for harvest is right now. Not just for seed, but the perfect time for harvest as well, that it will come back quickly in your life. And if you do that electronically, that seed will begin to come back to you uh, even the more quicker. Uh, but there are those ways, and there are other ways as well. And if you can go onto the KOGGC.org website, 
You can uh, find out all the different ways to give. But I really recommend that you call 877 the glory and enter into or when you tell that prayer partner uh, what you're wanting to give that you enter into that prayer agreement even though the power of God was still flowing or was flowing uh, and really is still flowing still enter into that prayer agreement that apostle was talking about because that prayer uh, that you pray with that prayer partner it will also go to apostle Taylor tonight it will go to him and he will pray over that immediately. And uh, But uh, thank God for uh, this tonight, Apostle. This was incredible tonight. The power was so amazing. And thank God for depression has left so many people. And I saw so many people, that neuropathy, uh, that feet pain, the hand pain was left. I saw somebody with tinnitus, that ringing in the ear, uh, that, that can just be just, oh, uh, just uh, so... Uh, uh, just thank God for that, that you have that peace, woman of God, that you have that peace tonight from that tinnitus. Uh, thank you, Lord, for that and this so many other things. Uh, but Houston, I know there are some other things that have came in as well. And these financial testimonies, they are so beautiful as well. Uh, but uh, whether you are miraculously immediately healed tonight or whether you are miraculously being healed over time, it is all the same. It is the same. God has touched and he has showed up with Apostle Taylor tonight. And don't forget to get your uh, pictures in. Do that while you are doing uh, all these other givings and testimonies. Make sure you're getting your pictures in tonight. There it is behind me. You can email koggc.org. I'm sorry, that's pictures at koggc.org. Or you can text 720-202-9147. It's not too late to do that. In fact, it's not too late to do that any time through the night tonight. You can do that. That that picture will hang with the thousands of others that God is just hovering over. The Spirit of the Lord is just hovering over. Jesus and the Father are in that shutaway place with the Apostle, hovering over these pictures. Do all of these things tonight. And uh, even after we go off the air, you can still call that number. There will be somebody to help you all through the night tonight, even into tomorrow, to take your prayer request, to take your donation, your seed, to pray with you, to take the, uh, give you any information that you need. Uh, but do that tonight. Houston, do we have any other testimonies that have come in? Yes, we do, Pastor Steve. The testimonies never stop. And again, we are here at Houston. And uh, I know the show the beautiful campus out there. Apostle wanted everyone to see the, the new flags that are out there as the nations are tuning in. This is the campus for the harvest for all nations. Amen. And so, again, we are here live in Houston. It's a beautiful, hot night in Houston. All right. But it is so amazing here. Uh, it is a beautiful night. And if you can see the, the many flags that have just arrived. I know every time, I mean, every day, Apostle is improving the campus. Amen. And like he's taught us, heaven gets better and better, and this campus gets more beautiful and more beautiful. We see some new flags up there. We actually see uh, uh, Australia, praise God. I think I saw Japan earlier, the Netherlands, and these nations are a part. And I think every nation is actually tuning in that's flying tonight, praise God. But you see where your support is going. Your support is going towards prospering the gospel making the gospel spread and multiply throughout the world, throughout the nations. They receive Great Britain. I think that's Canada as well. Amen. And, uh, hey, you know, your flag, Apostle's going to fly your nation, your country, over the campus for the harvest. And I love what Apostle said. He said, every time the prayers go up, like in the sanctuary in, in Michigan, those nations are being touched as those prayers hit those flags prophetically. Amen. And bring a kingdom blessing in that area of uh, Any time you tune in, your nation is being impacted. You are opening a portal, opening a gateway for the kingdom and the Lord of hosts to come in. When you tune in, you're opening the gates, you're opening the door for the Lord of hosts, the King of glory to come into your family, to your nation, to your own heart, to your life, to your business. So keep spreading, like Apostle said, be a social media evangelist and keep supporting, keep sowing, keep calling in. And Pastor Mariano, I know there's so many people that are, are still giving tonight and making their pledges and vows before the Lord. That's right. We have so many people watching from all of the platforms who are vowing tonight and or sending in their gift. And you can set up your gift as well. You may not have all of what you desire to give, like the $10,000 tonight, but like as many uh, are doing, you're setting your, your covenant up for 1000 a month or 500 a month 
what you can do until all of it does come in for you. But this is so tremendous. We have Shelly watching from Facebook. She said, I am standing with Apostle for 10,000. I believe God will give it to it. And he certainly will. He said, I'm believing to sow this when, when God gives it to me in Jesus' name. Amen. And this is so tremendous, Pastor Bill, Pastor Lexus. We have so many testimonies of those who have done just this. And there's such an open heaven, you know, that even when you're sowing or you're vowing, God is literally releasing it. There are so many people who started receiving their settlements, their inheritances. I mean, it's just tremendous. And tonight, apostles lose the keys of the kingdom. So you expect breakthrough to take place tonight. Amen. Absolutely. And it's like, you know, you said when you vow something, you know, God gives you to the sower. So you don't even have to worry where it's going to come from. You simply have the heart of obedience. I remember one time, you know, even my sister, she was like, God, I want to give 10,000. And in her mind, she's like, I don't have anywhere near that. But all of a sudden, it turns out, you know, she ended up having this uh, separate account that my grandmother had put aside for her um, with stocks in it. And it ended up being exactly around $10,000. You know, so sometimes you have it around you or to your name, something you could sell. You don't know. God put that in your heart for a reason. He might give you a different amount. But as you obey, even just the words of apostles, he came forward tonight, you know, in faith. All it is is an act of faith in God. When you give it to me, I'll be faithful to give it. And so, you know, when it comes, just don't eat your seat. Don't spend anywhere else, you know, call immediately, get in the ground, you know, but it's amazing the breakthroughs that people get when they sow. Anytime you sow, God is performing a miracle over your life. There's things that are being broken. And we know that number 1000, it breaks the back of lack, but it doesn't matter if you only have your five, your 100, you know, you're prophetically getting that down. God sees your heart. God took the five loaves and two fish and made it into a whole multitude, you know, that fed thousands upon thousands. So God will multiply. He'll bring the increase, but you know, get your seed down tonight, whatever's on your heart to do. That's right. And let's believe God. We don't, you know, want to limit the Holy One of Israel. I'll never forget the first time I heard Apostle's testimony of the thousand dollar seed. And that time I didn't have no thousand dollars. I said, God, well, I believe what you did for Apostle. I believe your face to face prophet. If you give me a thousand, I'm going to sow it. And God is my witness. And I, I didn't go around telling people I did this. You know, how sometimes Christians say these things, try to get someone to give them the money. No, I didn't do that. I just said it before God. And someone came up to me and gave me a check for a thousand dollars. I tell you, if you make a God gives seed to the sower. I was sowing what I had and then God gave seed. And I'll never forget after that, like apostle said, have a vision in your giving. So, okay, God, I want to give you $2,500. This was about eight years ago. And I'll never forget this. After a few weeks later, someone came up and gave me a check, not for 2,400, not for 26, exactly $2,500. I said, my God, this is just like apostles been saying, saying from the word, God gives seed to the sower, have a vision for your giving and expand. And the Lord said, you know, no matter what, he's always going to give us the seed. It may not come the same way every time, like someone coming up to you and giving you the money. Might, like a Pastor Alexa said, it could be somewhere you didn't realize. Like God opened Abraham's eyes. And, you know, when he made that commitment to give his son Isaac his precious promise, and that God opened his eyes of a, of the ram in the bush. There are so many provisions around your life. He is Jehovah Jireh. He has the seed. He has, he's so good. He wants to give you a harvest. He'll even provide the seed for it and he'll give you the seed to sow. This is how good our God is. So, so well. What you have and say, God, if you give me a bigger seat, I'm going to give it. Watch the miracle power of God that he's going to do in your life. Jesus will multiply this seat. You will see breakthrough. You will see miracles. And when you sow in the kingdom, you know that your seed never leaves ever. Your harvest never leaves. There will always be a harvest from it for eternity because that seed is in an eternal producing ground that never has a famine. Amen. God's kingdom does not have a famine. When you give to God, God's multiplies that forever so laying up treasures in heaven doing amazing things with that seed so call today and thank god pastor steve for the opportunity to give this is a blessing this is an amazing grace from god that we have the opportunity tonight to lay up eternal treasure in heaven that treasure we know is supporting the kingdom winning souls and that is exactly apostle's heart this is all about souls it's all about winning souls that is the, the heartbeat of everything because that is God's heart. That's our Savior's heart who died on the cross for us and was risen from the dead that we may have life. But sow that seed. When you sow your seed, it, it, it comes into the ground and it brings life. It brings harvest. It brings salvation as it empowers the gospel to go around the world. Just like Jesus went into the heart of the earth as God's seed and raised to life, you know, sow your seed into the kingdom. It will bring life to millions around the world. Pastor Steve, I know you've seen amazing things all the years you've been here, you know, with Apostle and you've seen Apostle's heart that this is all about souls. All the support that comes in, it's about reaching 
souls, discipling people, discipling God's kings, that they can go out and reap the harvest. And again, we're here live at the campus for the harvest. And Pastor Steve, I'm excited to see this come to pass because this is God's vision. It is exciting, Pastor Joseph. If we could go back to the Zoom audience real quick, if we could just see them, would love to just uh, talk to the all, all of the Zoom people. I would like to just see a show of hands. Um, I'm not seeing it on this. Oh, there they are. How many has God... Oh, here, here you are. How many has God just supernaturally like put money into your hands? Uh, a super, oh, look at all the hands. Oh, yeah. A supernatural uh, move that has happened. Almost every hand uh, that God has given you seed to sow has done something supernatural. Just out of the blue, some money showed up or maybe a process of time where you knew that God was taking you uh, from seed to harvest, seed time and harvest, seed time and harvest, uh, something along that line. And so that's waiting to happen for you. Uh, this is a wonderful cloud of witnesses here that we are seeing. And so trust God, believe God that he will give you that seed. It has happened to me every time I have sowed uh, or uh, planted a vow uh, that I have uh, given a vow that God has given it to me supernatural. And when I didn't have a penny towards it, he gave it to me. Oh, that's just a, the way God is. He gives seed to the sower. And that will happen for you tonight. So take that stand. Take that leap. Take that uh, leap of faith. Call in to say, I know God is speaking to me. I don't have it right now. I legitimately don't have it. Uh, and, and But you're believing God. You know God is speaking to you right now for a vow. Just go ahead and do that. And let that seed go into the ground. Let it fall into the ground and let it begin to take a life of its own. And God will do it for you. I promise you he will. And uh, he will... You will never, ever outgive God. I have never outgiven God. And in this ground, this is the 30, 60, 100 fold. It is much greater than that which is pressed down, shaken together, running over that men will give to you. This is 30, 60, 100 fold. This is a supernatural, a seed time and harvest uh, um, uh, uh, process that God has put into place and it will happen in your life. So as the, those numbers are scrolling across the bottom third, uh, don't just pick one of them, any one of them, but uh, call at 877 the glory at any time. And we want you to see further how what your money is going to. If we could show the, we talked about the arena uh, in 2024 and beyond, if we could show the backdrop uh, that is going to be in there. It is right there. You talk about the glory of God. Just as that popped up on your screen, you said, wow, look at that. Yes, that is a wow. That is a wow factor right there. And uh, that's what you are giving to. This is being built for the presence of God. Apostle knows how to prepare for the presence of God and will do everything in perfection, in excellence, uh, to make sure that God is welcomed into these arenas for he is coming down to working with Apostle. And so he is doing everything, Apostle is doing everything to make sure that aroma is right, the atmosphere is right, the environment is right, the arena is right. Everything must be just right uh, for the glory of God. Uh, and Apostle is per so protective over that. So he is being obedient to the heavenly vision right here. You can see this just magnificent stage, a white grand piano over here, the gold roaring lions, uh, 50 foot tall lions. You see the statue of the silhouette of a, a man right there to show the magnitude of this stage. And that is what you are giving to tonight as well. Those things are being prepared and you are helping do that. Uh, and uh, also want to show the trucks that Apostle has assembled and it will continue to assemble and will continue to uh, tweak them to make them do everything uh, that needs to happen. But there you see one of the trucks right there. They, those trucks will take those sets, that props to different arenas around the country as it comes to a place, a city, an arena near you. But in the meantime, if there's any uh, crisis at all in the country, 
anywhere, whatever it is, a flood, a hurricane, a drought, whatever situation calls for, Apostle is ready right now to load them up and to send them on their way. But you working with Apostle has created this. You've done this. You have been there in Tennessee for that devastating hurricane. You have been to St. Louis passing out meals to families. You have been uh, different places uh, around the nation. You have been with Apostle to help him to bless uh, people uh, all over this country. And that's what you are giving to. And so let it not be any, any secret at all, any wonderment at all. Uh, this is what you are giving to. Uh, this is Apostle Strucks. They're beautiful. Uh, they were in great shape when he got them, but he uh, enhanced them even more. They're just a beautiful white with the, the trim, the chrome trim, that gold lettering. Uh, that is just amazing. I watched them put it on. It's quite a, uh, quite a, a skill level to that. Uh, to get it to be like that, but they were able to do it, but they're just perfect. The trucks, the trailers are perfect, but you can see where the direction they're going. A kitchen trailer, you saw that, a medical trailer, a salon haircutting uh, trailer, an office trailer. There is a shower trailer that apostle wants to outfit, but it depends on us. Uh, he is dependent upon us to obey that heavenly vision, and so that is what you are giving to tonight. Uh, all of these things and more. We could go on and on and on. Apostle used to do these kind of things in secret, but it's just it can't be hid any longer. So uh, that's why we are showing these things to let you know Apostle's heart for uh, not just the spiritual side, not just getting uh, the arena tour underway, not just getting the face-to-face -face, uh, all around the world, but also that along the way he is taking care of people's needs. That was Jesus' heart. That is Apostle's heart. Giving to Israel, blessing to people in Israel, uh, blessing families at Thanksgiving, blessing families at Christmas, all of these things go on year after year after year. And for the most part, uh, you didn't know. And uh, only those that were just like directly involved knew what all he did. But uh, like I said, it's just out right now. And so uh, all of this Apostle does, but uh, all of this you do as well. Covenant partners, friends, you that uh, donate regularly, you that tithe here, don't forget to tithe here. This is the best ground. This is where glory is. This is where Jesus walks and talks. This is where the Father comes down and uh, talks and walks with Apostle in that shutaway place. This is the best place for your money. This is where you will see increase. And thank God. And there is a beautiful, a beautiful... Uh, uh, slide behind me, uh, tithes and offerings, all of these honoring God with your financial first fruits. And that's what God said about it in Malachi. He talked about where is my honor? And then in the, in the next chapter, in chapter three, talks about uh, honoring God with the first fruits, with the tithe. Bring it into the storehouse of God. So do that tonight. Uh, we do not honor God without our tithe. That is the beginning step is tithing, honoring God. And so do that tonight. Call 877-THE-GLORY, and uh, God will uh, answer. Uh, he will answer in that glory uh, to give back to you, to give to you what you put into the ground tonight. 877-THE-GLORY. Any fresh words from Houston? Do we have any new testimonies coming in, financial or healing? Pastor Steve, there are some amazing more testimonies coming in. And, you know, it's incredible that so many are hearing what Apostle shared tonight, seeing the vision and supporting. And so, you know, we thank God for um, even, you know, here's some testimonies. Michael said, God supernaturally gave me 8,000 seed miracle money to sow. That's right. He's going to give seed to the sower. Let's prove God. God says, prove me in this and tithes and offerings. And uh, there is a supernatural power of a vow. Remember when Apostle Ta uh, Taylor taught that, but the supernatural power of a vow, you know, that vow delivered Hannah from barrenness and brought victory to so many uh, uh, times of trouble when Israel's going through battles. And there's such supernatural power in that vow. Praise God. Denise Joseph says, I'm giving on Friday 
That's right. Even if you don't have it now, declare what you're going to do. God is going to honor that. And um, so many more as well. Teddy on YouTube. YouTube says, I've given 50. God bless you. Yasmina says, I donated 100. Praise God. That's right. Whatever that seed is in your hand, when you put in the hand of the Lord, it is going to multiply. Pastor Mariah. That's right. That's right. So do not hesitate. Make sure that you call in tonight. Get your seat in the ground. And of course, like Pastor Joseph was just sharing, declare tonight what you are going to give because God supplies seed to the sower as we're just seeing the, the miracle testimonies with Michael Miller as Pastor Joseph just shared his testimony. Listen, God is releasing tremendous breakthrough in your finances. I'm reminded of, of actually a woman who had um, who called in and she made a vow of $10,000 who at the time had no finances at all. She was struggling even to pay her, I mean, to pay her bills, to live. And God put it on her heart to call in to make a vow. And she literally, she had been waiting for a settlement for almost three years at this point. When she called in and she made that vow, after three years of waiting, three days, it was released to her. After three days, she literally got a call from the legal office saying, all you have to do is sign. So listen, do not hesitate. Make sure that you are calling in, calling your vow, put it in, type it in what you want to give, what you, what's on your heart. Maybe it's a hundred thousand. Maybe it's a million. Like apostle, he said, I want to be a million dollar giver in God's kingdom. When we know that God is going to honor what is on your heart tonight. So this is tremendous, Pastor Alexis. Absolutely. And Apostle said a key thing tonight. He said, you know, write that vision out, like put down the things you're believing God for. And as you notice, Apostle, when he says something, it's like a decree, it's a command from heaven. You know, he doesn't just come up with these things. It means God is moving on that to do in the season. So, you know, even tonight, you know, whatever you are sowing, put down what you're believing God for. You know, write that vision out. And it doesn't matter how big it is, how small. Apostle's believing for maimed limbs to grow out. You know, it's like he believes for the impossible because with God, nothing is impossible. All things are possible. And so even as Apostle's release tonight, that wholeness, you know, it doesn't matter if you're believing for, you know, a marriage situation, a, a kid, you know, a son or a daughter that's not walking with God, someone that's in jail, you want to see them released early, you know, nothing, if something with your business, you know, there's so many things that people are going through. We don't realize we can sow our way out of anything. Now, possible never tell you, you can buy anything from God. You can't buy a miracle, but we know without faith, it's impossible to please him. And the Bible talks so much about sowing because there's power with the seed. And so even in the church, we see the enemy attacking that today. You know, oh, it's just about money or, it's, you know, attacking the seed. But why? Because he's scared of it. He knows when you sow, you're going to get breakthrough. And so take that step of faith tonight. And even as you call in, you know, you will feel that presence of God. You know, Jesus made covenants with the apostle, you know, that anyone that called in, they will not be left the same. Even if you called in last week and you say, well, I'm just feeling a little down tonight or something's going on. You know, I just want prayer of agreement. Call in. Or if someone you know is going through something, a coworker, give them the number. Say, you know, you can call in. God's going to change your life and he will. But, you know, call in tonight. Um, it's one eight seven seven. the glory. You can still give online. It's not too late. You can still share testimonies through Zoom. You know, Apostle would love to know, you know, what happened tonight. That's right. Call that number. Your seat is victory. It's victory in your warfare. You know, just think about when when the we first fell and Adam fell and all everything was crazy and chaos was going on and Satan was uh, now operating in the earth. God's answer of warfare. He said, I'm sending the seed of my son. Amen. And that seed crushes Satan's head. And so I you know some of you out there, you need to return to God, even in your tithes, you know, bring God his tithe. God says, prove me in this. If I'll not open the windows of heaven, if you bring honor to me through your tithe and offering, amen. And so, so many breakthroughs, so many, you know, so much struggle out there, but it's your tithe that connects you with, with, with the Lord in a, in a special way where he lifts you up over the law of sin and death in this earth and poverty and all this chaos and destruction. Your tithe is a supernatural covenant with God, as we've heard apostles share so many times. And, you know, it's important that we hear and understand God's whole counsel about this. Pastor Steve, amazing things in Houston and amazing things happening around the world. And we know that next Thursday, Apostle Taylor is coming out uh, to speak to us once again. We cannot wait uh, again to see Apostle. And, you know, keep an eye on social media. Follow Apostle on Facebook, YouTube, all because there's so much new content, even visitations that happen that Apostle will post. There's a fresh visitation on Facebook. Go and check it out of Jesus visiting uh, one of Apostle's intercessors and declaring how he is just like he delivered Israel, you know, with through the Red Sea and, and drowned Israel's enemies. He's going to drown the enemies that come against apostles. When they come against apostle, they come against God's kingdom. Amen. The apostle Taylor is carrying the very kingdom of God, the keys of the kingdom as the Lord's friend. And listen, 
You don't want to be on that side. You want to be on the Lord's side. And it's ending with God in this end time hour. And this is the Lord's side here. Apostle is with the Lord and the Lord is with Apostle. So join today this mighty movement, the kingdom of God, and be a part. Pastor Steve, I know so many more things are happening. We go on and on about the testimonies coming in. But again, it's time to connect and be a part wholeheartedly. Pastor Steve, back in this yeah, next Thursday uh, will be another incredible night. Uh, these nights have been phenomenal. I don't know how far back it was that we started, um, you know, that Apostle had us on that 14-day live services that just, things just really just began to take off the, uh, the, 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 the to the intensity of the miracles, the, the number of the miracles. They have just, just increased and they're increasing ever. And, uh, we are so thankful to Apostle for these, love these Thursday nights where we experience God's power. Uh, they, uh, they are incredible. Make sure you're letting people know, uh, about these Thursday nights, even the maimed. Make sure that they know that there is an answer. There is a solution. Somebody has paid a price. Somebody uh, has believed God enough, uh, and we join with him that somebody has done this so that the maimed can restore, or be restored and received body parts back and be made whole. Uh, but that is what's happening on these Thursday nights for the maimed. And then of course, cancer, everything was, uh, everything was, um, uh, uh, spoken to tonight, every power, every uh, demon, every sickness was brought down tonight. Uh, this was incredible uh, tonight, and uh, we cannot wait for next Thursday, but Apostle is still paying a price for a greater weight of glory. It's not too late to get your pictures in. There it is, that uh, slide behind me. It is not too late to do that tonight. Pictures at koggc.org if you want to get your pictures in. Uh, you can email it that way, or you can text to give 720-202-9147. And uh, you saw earlier in the broadcast, an apostle brought them up as well, uh, the pictures, the collage, the thousands and thousands of people that have sent in their pictures. Yours needs to be next. Yours needs to be up there. If you haven't done it, do that tonight. Don't wait. Uh, go get that family picture. Uh, maybe you don't look like that anymore. I don't know. But get that picture and send it in. Uh, get that picture of that loved one. Get that picture of that situation, of that marriage, of that lost daughter or son that's out in the world. You want them saved. You want them brought home. You want them back in the fold. Make sure their picture is in. That is a prayer that God will here. And make no mistake, these are prayers. When you send these pictures in, they are prayers before the Lord. And speaking of a prayer, I seen a, a prayer uh, earlier uh, that was on the testimonies. I saw that, that the, a crystal had said that the, she wanted to increase her giving from what she normally gives. And that's a prayer that God will answer. Uh, but be prepared to give more. Uh, God will give you more. Uh, he, he will increase that in your life as well. See time and harvest. It will take a life of its own. So uh, just be mindful of those things and uh, Always remember these uh, information that is scrolling across the screen. Well, Apostle, thank you again and again. We cannot say enough uh, how much we thank you for tonight and the power of God. For those that were healed, uh, I know if they could just uh, their, lend their voices right now, they would just stand and honor you and thank you for receiving their healing, receiving the revelation, all that was given tonight. Thank you for your love, your time. We honor you for that and look forward to being with you uh, next Thursday night as well. Now, don't forget, Apostle usually has uh, worship music uh, that you can just soak still, uh, that you don't have to rush out of the presence of God. Uh, you can just, just be in uh, that presence and just let him uh, just rain down the more and be in this atmosphere that we have experienced tonight. So on behalf of of uh, Apostle David E. Taylor. We wish you well and have a great 